Hey everyone, how are you doing? Transha Dan here. As always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. And of course, this video does mean a lot to me that you would take the time to do so. Uh, so yeah, Sunday is not a day that I would normally do videos, let alone live videos. However, I uh, I figured this one is kind of important. Um, and I want to sort of say this while it's fresh in my mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the plan for this video is to maybe just chill out for a minute, have a general chat. Hello to Hipster. Um, I'm going to be just sort of chatting away for maybe a minute or so for people to come. And then I'm going to go through some of the information. And also, I need to keep that handy for later. So, yeah, um, hello to everyone. I uh, just want to say very, very quickly uh, once I begin going through the information that I have, um, I won't be sort of taking any questions. So, once I start the actual point of this video, if you have any questions, please wait till the end. Once I've said what I've, everything I've got to say, then feel free to ask them, because I don't want to keep stopping. Uh, the reason for that is I want, um, when people watch this video back, I want it to basically flow quite nicely um, in one kind of video. Uh, also, at the end of this video, once I've done what I've got, to, the information I've got to put across um, in regards to the lectures, I will be stopping the video, so that's done. And I'll be making another live video for what I'll call a general chit chat, answering questions, showing things off, whatever. So, there's a few of you here now, so I figured I will start this for those of you um, who don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to be talking about the 2018 lectures, uh, the BTS lectures, which were down in Bristol this weekend. Now, I had uh, an absolute uh, blast this weekend. I, I can't describe how much of a good time that I had been very very busy um, very very expensive but overall genuinely absolutely wonderful so this video is going to be split up into four main parts um, it's the uh, I've got it written down so I don't get too lost I'm going to be going over the my pre-attendance views of the lectures this is really important um, which you'll hear about in a second then I'm going to be discussing the lectures and what actually happened. I have some notes and some bits and bobs to share with you in regards to that. Um, then we're going to be talking about the social side of the lectures. And then the final part will be uh, the post-lectures uh, uh, view in the sense of my opinion, opinions on it. So, for those of you who don't know what the BTS lectures are, it is when a... Uh, when, a when a group of people sort of come together... Um, within the hobby, uh, basically uh, share information of what's been happening recently, talk about sort of spoilers, things going on in the hobby, and everything is very important, especially like uh, conservation work and things. So, my pre-attendance uh, views on the BTS lectures, um, I don't want to say negative, um, but very, very wrong, uh, misguided. And I was talking to Ray Hale, who is... Um, he organises the BTS shows about this yesterday. So, what my my views beforehand, as we summarised it, were that the the people that went to the lectures were the top ten percent in um, arachnid um, care, shall we say, in, in you know, the the top people, the brains. Um, I had the view that it was a very clicky kind of event. Uh, you'd go there, no one would talk to you, um, you would have been made to feel very welcome, uh, you wouldn't understand what on earth they're talking about, um, it was for BTS members only, all of these um, all of these different things that I had and in my mind as to what it actually was, uh, you know, the actual lectures were. So yeah, like you weren't made to feel welcome, uh, you wouldn't understand what they're talking about, not very inviting and all this kind of thing. And... I was completely wrong, um, and I do apologise <laughs> for that. So, what changed? What made me go to the lectures was actually last year with the BTS show. I was talking to Trans Radict uh, Stephen, who I met up with yesterday, and he said to me, um, "Have you been to the lectures?" And I said, "No, I've not attended. I don't think they're for me. I don't think that's my kind of thing." You know, these people, from what I gathered, I thought they were quite clicky, and you had to be in that group with them to go to the lectures and all this kind of thing and he was like no you really need to go to these lectures you will genuinely benefit from it so much so uh, I went 
I, I said to him, okay, I'll book it up, and I booked up, and I went. I went there with the impression of, A, not knowing anyone, which is always a little bit uncomfortable, shall we say, as I'm sure many of you will know. Uh, especially I do actually have um, kind of anxiety, I do kind of have a bad anxiety day, shall we say. So, um, yeah, I was a bit nervous going. But also, um, my other way before going in was that I was going to be the dumbest person in the room, which... I was hoping would then give me the most potential to absorb information and learn the most. So that is basically the first part as to why I thought about it. Very, very negative of it. And I won't tell you what I think about it now until the end of the video. So the lectures, what actually happened at the lectures. Now I went for different reasons. The one lecture that I really wanted to uh, to go and witness was a talk on the uh, desertus wolf spiders, which is um, the Hogner uh, was it um, Hogner ignis, ignis. Um, The lecture was presented by Mark Michel, and I actually was in touch with him back on the uh, 9th of August of last year, because this is a um, this is the actual desertus wolf spider, which is from one of the desertus islands, which is just on the eastern coast of Madeira and they are critically endangered, uh, really, really sort of uh, rare. They're dying off due to uh, an invasive weed. They're not being, no, they can't uh, burrow, and so they're dying off, basically. And he did an absolutely amazing uh, lecture. I was, like, completely switched on, just absorbing all of this information. Now, I won't go through e everything that happened on each of their things, because... It's kind of, I think, for you guys to sort of come along and see for yourself if you get the chance. Um, but I did get this book, and um, he very kindly signed it for me as well, which was very, very kind of him. Um, yeah, really, really good talk. And I want to go over some of the things I learned from each of the different lectures. There were six lectures. So, Desert Sport Spiders, um, he bred them very, very successfully. For those of you that have followed my videos on the desert wolf spiders, uh, bred them successfully. Uh, no males were eaten. He had they captured twenty five from the wild, nine made it to adulthood, uh, with uh, six females to three males, I believe it was. Um, and I think the first egg sack I believe had between sort of five and six hundred uh, slings. And what I learned, that the main thing that I learned from this was to do with this spider was the breeding habits of this spider. Um, I don't know the correct terms for this, but I'm going to try and describe it the best I can to you. So you know when you have tranches, they breed, um, they do the drumming, and they the male will push the female up, and then will get it out from underneath. Well, what the male of this species does is, and I was watching it and with Stephen, and we were just like, wow, that's, that's so unusual. The male climbs on top of the female and then sort of leans to one side um, to do the um, to get insertion on that side and then it goes back up and then leans over the other side so he's sort of like facing her, her back end shall we say he's like a, like a motorbike rider he's leaning around to to, um, to get insertions and I believe he does this three times that's like six insertions I believe I might be a little bit wrong on that uh, completely you know that was like wow absolutely amazing um, to see and they actually showed video footage of this as well um, granted it was a little bit so sort of shaky and I was gonna make a comment about a tripod but I thought I can't do that considering how long it took me to get a tripod sorted um, but that is the, I mean just from the first lecture um, especially something that I was genuinely very very interested in uh, completely uh, you know, blew my mind to, to see that and I think everyone in the room was all sort of like really kind of excited by that as well so thank you to Mark Michel for talking to me, um, for giving me this book. I haven't actually read this yet, but I will be sort of reading this probably at work and things. And it tells you all about the island and the problem um, that they have. Locals basically dumped a bunch of goats on the island, uh, which ate a certain plant, which was the competition for the weed. So the weeds grew everywhere and now they can't dig burrows. So they need to get all of the goats and either shove them off the island into the sea or go and deliver them back to people. Um, you know, it's it's tricky. It's not there's not an easy way around this. So yeah, that was the first lecture. Absolutely loved it. Uh, the second lecture uh, was uh, presented by uh, Paul Carpenter, and he uh, 
did a talk on um, SORC and I really enjoyed actually with uh, the first and the second, uh, sorry, the second and the third lectures, which uh, the third one was presented by Guy Tansley. I will talk about him in a social side because it was amazing. Um, but what I liked about the second and third lecture, again, I won't be going into great um, amounts of detail because these lectures are like an hour long each. Uh, I've got a few minutes to try and explain uh, what I liked about them and things. But I liked, as I explained it very briefly on a YouTube, was it YouTube? No, it was an Instagram video I did this morning, a live Instagram video. And what they did, um, it's like when I do a live video and you, you don't see all the edits, you can't sort of uh, trim, uh, you, I can't trim things out of a live video, you just see it as it happens. And it was very much like that. Uh, you got to see like the raw edit of them walking around, looking in you know for, for, for different spiders and there's some footage great footage of them um kind of building a rope ladder uh with logs and vines to get at this uh this spider in this in this uh hollowed out uh tree and watching that was really i i, I love that because that's sort of what i would love to do that you know just go off and sort of find spiders and things uh and i liked the way that they showed it they didn't just sort of go into the spiders uh they showed bits of like maybe like the other wildlife that was there uh the people the food i learned that guy tansley is a vegetarian and they were showing you like the food that someone cooked for them that was amazing um and the, the local people and it was just like i can't i won't go into too much information with those lectures because there was genuinely so much information but i really really enjoyed those and it was nice to see kind of what the BTS and um, other lecturers and you know people do, shall we say, going out for the hobby. Um, it's amazing to f to sit and watch that. Like it wasn't a lecture where you sat there and you're yawning or you're bored or you're fidgety or anything. You sat there, it's like watching a movie. You kind of just just soaking it all in, and you don't really want it to end. You kind of want to go right. Oh, then let's let's see more footage. Where's the unedited stuff to shove that on? Let's watch this. Um, they were joking around with each other, a couple of jokes, um, one joke to do with Ray Gabriel with a polystyrene box that had everyone having a good laugh. Um, it's one of those things you really have to be there to experience it, but anyway, that was just sort of the second and third lecture in a nutshell. Uh, I say that, I mean that's a very poor description of the lecture, but it was just them out in the forest. Um, um, uh, the guy Tansley was in uh, Malaysia, I believe, yeah, he was in Malaysia. Uh, but it was hunting for bugs, not to capture, but to photograph, and they videoed them, releasing them back into the wild. It was, it was so enjoyable to watch, um, and everyone from myself to like the top people, you could see just the interest that everyone had. You know, they everyone wanted to be there and wanted to see this stuff. Uh, the fourth uh, lecture was uh, presented by Ray Hale, and he did a talk on Henry Bates and. That was really good. That was to do with, um, should we say, back in time, in the olden days. Um, I can't remember the year off the top of my head, but what it was to do with, um, basically two young guys, uh, both had an, in uh, an interest in insects, and they left and ended up going to the Amazon to explore, to get collections, to basically make their wealth, shall we say, in a nutshell. And he was out there for 11 years, and he did die, obviously, well, of course he died, it was a long time ago. Um, and his lecture was all to do with with him out there, what he was doing, um, and the in you know the uh, studies that he did out there. And there is a DVD which I'd like to, I'd like to give mention to this, although I don't actually know. I can't, I don't know much about it. Um, there's a film. Please, if you are at your computer, please Google this. Um, they 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 did a film called Amazon Adventure. Now I have Googled this. Um, I cannot find anywhere that streams it or sells uh, the film. I think it was like an IMAX special kind of thing. And I have actually this afternoon uh, sent a couple of messages to, um, to a few different places to try and see whether or not they have any of these uh, DVDs available because I would love to see it. And it's a, uh, like a short film, I guess, like an hour, hour and a half to do with, um, them out there exploring and adventure and spiders and bugs and things. It was absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I would, if I can find that, I will be sort of sharing that. If any of you are able to find that,
please let me know because I would love to pass this on not only to you guys but actually the people that are at the lectures who would like to see it as well I think. Uh, the fifth lecture was to do with um, Andre Leitz who did, um, it was, he's French, it was translated by a gentleman called Eddie who did a really really good job, really clear um, and sort of passed the information on to the audience seamlessly I think. Um, and he did a lecture on um, uh, Eresy. Now Eresy is, I think I'm sure I pronounced that right, I hope I am, to do with, um, the Eresys are the ladybird spiders of which I have one upstairs, I can't remember the species off the top of my head. And he did a very lengthy, um, a very, very lengthy um, lecture on how they behave, I guess, is the summary. And I could, it was a long lecture. It was probably the longest lecture there, or it felt like it. Um, I mean that in, in the nicest way possible. What, um, what I learned from that lecture, actually I learned a few things to do with them. Um, I didn't know that this spider, once they have made an egg sac, um, they eat loads and loads of food. They then regurgitate the food to feed their young, kind of like what a penguin does, or you know, some other birds do it. You know, they regurgitate food to feed their young. When they start doing this, um, there's something happens, they think, that turns all of their inside organs, with the exception of their heart um, and lungs, into mush, I guess. And what these females do is they feed their young and they feed them and they feed them and they feed them and they go from being like super plump um, no, abdomens to flat and then the babies will then eat the mother when she has died. The babies do not kill the mother uh, but once she has died they then eat, eat what is left. Which I thought was fascinating because I've not heard of any other, you know, maybe you guys have, I've never heard of another uh, species of spiders that literally feed their young um, you know, regurgitate food for them. I, another thing that we saw to do with the babies um, is the she did an egg sac which she didn't seal correctly and most of them died for you know maybe a dozen or something like that. So she fed them bits of food but then went on to make a second egg sac and while she had this one egg sac there were still the babies that were young and then they were sharing actual prey items with her and then um, obviously once that egg sac hatched she then did the whole um, you know dissolving her intestines and then you know became a meal for for her young again um, sort of double clutching and laying an egg sac when you've already got slings alive and feeding them at the same time as caring for an egg sac and then feeding them all at the end and the third thing that I learned from um, from Andre Leitz's lecture was I don't know what the what the the, um, the behavior will be called for this, but what happened was the um, they put a male in with a female to uh, for them to breed. Uh, they went to retrieve the male as anyone that breeds tranches you do. You leave them in there and you go right. I'm gonna get the male out because I don't want him to get eaten. Uh, they went to retrieve him and the female came out um, and kind of shielded it. the male. She was over him, sort of like protecting him from getting taken, which is pretty unusual because usually my females would run out, grab the male and then drag him back in, uh, kicking and screaming whilst trying to eat him. So yeah, three, you know, I mean, just I'm, I'm being really, um, I'm being unfairly brief about all of this. But like I said, this, I mean, the lecture, I think, we went in at, I don't know, quarter to 12, 12 o'clock. I think it was like half nine, 10 o'clock um, when we came out of the lectures. It was a whole day thing, but fascinating. I'm just trying to teach, try and pass on some of the, the things that I've learned so you can see the kind of stuff that goes on there. Um, so yeah, thank you to um, and, uh, for Hipster for passing that on. I will be answering questions after the live stream. Um, and then of course the final uh, lecture was presented by Andrew Smith himself, uh, which was to do with Iraq and history. Um, that was, again, was really, really interesting. It was to do with, I won't go into detail on this one either, because I want to try to keep this video as short as I can, um, but kind of still informative. Um, he did a talk on the avicularia, um, what's the word? I have it written down, 
um, as to the exact sort of title that it was labelled as. Um, oh, shit, the AVK uh, deconstruction, sorry, uh, which was, that was fascinating to watch as well. The AVIC um, genus obviously has now been broken up and things, but um, some of the, I mean, the AVIC, AVIC that they found um, in, a, in this uh, tree uh, was huge. I don't think I've seen one that big, massive. Um, and that was again very much sort of him, um, and he's all to do with uh, with that species and the first tarantula spider. Now, if you give me just two seconds, because I do have where is it? Amongst all of my DVDs, I'm sure. Here it is. Um, I have the um, the film here. Um, this is oops, the disc has just fell out. Let's put that back in. Uh, yeah, this is the um, the DVD. I mentioned this before. I watched the BTS one and the sixteen uh, forties uh, first trying to spider, and uh, there's actually a picture. Uh, this actually appeared in the lecture yesterday, of um, you know what they think. You know, it, what they say is the first trying to spider, the Avic Avic, and um, really, really good. I would say if you would like to a good idea of the kind of information that. Um, Andrew Smith passed on, I would recommend getting this. Uh, I'm going to give this a, a, a shout out, a mention. Uh, you can get this from lovetranches.com, um, the BTS uh, website, the spider shop, different places do it. Uh, it's about £10 for the two discs. If you like tarantulas um, or interested in this kind of thing, I would honestly recommend doing this. I wouldn't part with this because I will probably re uh, re watch this as well. But really, really good. Andrew Smith's lecture was uh, fantastic. And that was actually the last lecture as well after the evening meal, at which point it was, I don't know how many hours of lectures it was. It was a long day, uh, which that kind of finishes the lectures. Like, I know that was very, very brief, but I thought I'd sort of talk about the people that gave the lectures, give them thanks for what they did. And also um, just trying to pass on a few things that I've learned at these shows, which when you look at them are, you know, the, the mating of the, um, the deserted wolf spider and... The behaviour of the ladybird spiders is amazing, absolutely amazing. And again, all of this was uh, a presentation. There was footage there, video, photographic. So you're actually seeing this happen. It's not just their word. Um, so fantastic. Um, but the other thing to do with the lectures that I really, really liked now, I mentioned this in part one, but how with... I've, I've labelled this simply the social side of... The le of, of the lectures. Um, I went there not really knowing anyone so to speak and I got to the hotel. I stayed at um, the Bristol Hotel, uh, the Holiday Inn Bristol North, not the South one. Um, I got there, I shared a double room with Lee Arden uh, from the spa shop. Um, and we pretty much sort of like went to the room, dropped our stuff off, uh, headed out and met up with a few people. Now I met up with uh, Ray Hale. I've spoke to him on and off for many years. I did my first ever 50-50 um, loan trancher with him, which was Pocotheria Pedicenae at the time, now Tata. Uh, Pedicens or Ghost Ornamental. Um, yeah, great guy. There was him and Annie, um, his partner. Uh, Gar Rees. I'm going to give a special shout out to him. In fact, if you go onto Instagram and you type in Predator or Prey Online or Predator and Prey Online, I can't remember. Um, he's actually got a picture of us together so it's great to meet Gar um, and his partner uh, there's obviously there's Lee and um, Guy Tansley now when I got there I, I know I know who sort of uh, who Guy is he's one person that you know I think most people kind of know who he is as well like Andrew Smith and all the big names and so I looked and I was like that's Andrew Smith uh, not Andrew Smith that's, that's Guy Tansley and uh, so I kind of went up to him and was very um, nervous. I was sort of like, oh, how are you doing? Uh, kind of, you know, kind of a fan, almost. You know, I felt really awkward saying that to him. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of your stuff. Um, nice to meet you. First time I'd ever met him. First time I'd ever sort of spoke to him. And um, there's a few of us. Um, we ended up having sort of several drinks at, the, uh, the pub, at this pub with a meal. Uh, yeah, and so welcoming, so friendly. Just sat there talking about you know spiders and general things. Uh, we got kicked out of the out of that pub, and back to the hotel. Continued drinking there. 
Um, you know, Ray Gabriel, I had a good talk with him about, um, I don't know what the word is for this, so I'm going to be very careful with what I say, but to do with frogs and spiders almost coexisting. I don't know the correct term for it, so I won't say any more than that, but really great to talk to uh, Ray Gabriel. Um, absolutely fantastic. I did actually buy a spider from him as well, which is uh, just here. I will tell you what that is in just a minute, or a few minutes. So yeah, um, the Friday night went out, had several drinks with a bunch of spider people, and I mean, I could not have been made to f feel any more welcomed by these people, considering I didn't know any of them really. I knew Ray Gabriel on and off kind of thing through passing talk and Lee Arden from the spider shop, which is mostly messaging and phone calls. And yeah, I was really um, grateful of, of how, how they were with me because you know, it could have been completely different. After that, like I say, we, we went, we, we got up, we went to the lectures and it's the same again. Um, we got to the lectures, we waited around for a little bit and I uh, was greeted with um, a friendly face, which was Stephen, uh, which is uh, Trancher Addict. It was his third time of the lecture and he's the one that told me to attend the lecture originally. I went, um, we had a good talk about different things and was it was great to actually see him. I actually spoke to Stephen more yesterday in the probably six or seven years that I've known him, or eight, nine years, however long it's been, more in one day than at all of those years, which is kind of sad when you think about it. And it wasn't just him or the people from the Friday night. There were people that were, who I'd never met, um, who were just having a conversation. And before you know it, there were, you know, you've got different conversations going on with different people, quite li literally making friends with these people that have a similar interest. But everyone is there to, to learn or to, you know, to try and support what these people are doing. And it was absolutely amazing. And like I say, we, we did the lectures, which was the previous conversation. Um, we had a evening meal. Um, they give you a seat on a table and they kind of split you up, but they put you with people that you do and you don't know. So on my table, there was a lady, I can't remember her name. My apologies to you if you watch this. Um, there's Lee Arden, his friend Andy. Um, there was Annie next to me, Ray Gabriel. Um, Danny and uh, I think Stuart was on the table as well and again different conversations different people some of them that I don't know conversation flowed fantastically really really nice really really welcoming just not even just our spies but just generally just friendly so friendly uh, we had food hot um, you know like a hot fork buffet kind of thing which was lovely uh, then after that is when we had the last lecture with Andrew Smith and then we sort of sat at the bar and just drank basically and you know people were buying different drinks for you know for people someone came around I think that was Stuart uh, came around with a bottle of this uh, tequila so we were sort of drinking tequila and it was it's very hard to describe the atmosphere there how it was to how I thought it was because these are people that I didn't know beforehand and yet were just being super friendly. We got kicked out of, well, we didn't get kicked out actually. I think they might have done. We left a little bit earlier, me and Lee. Uh, I think we got back about two, half two this morning. Um, Lee left first thing this morning because he had to go. And I went down for breakfast and went back down later on. And, uh, oh, Richard, uh, Richard was leaving as well. I can't remember his surname, uh, great guy. As he was leaving, I asked him if anyone else was about, and he said, oh, um, a guy was in the corner. So I went and sat with him. I said to him, do you mind if I, if I sit with you? An hour, hour and a half, I don't know what it was. Just sat talking to Guy Tansley, um, Ray Gabriel, and Annie came down. We had a good talk with those. And I said to them, you know, because um, they sort of said, how did you find your first lectures? Which goes on to basically my, my post-lectures view, I guess. And to summarise it, it is, I was so, so wrong. That is, that is, you know, because I went there thinking I'm not going to know anyone. No one's going to be welcoming. I'm not going to understand what's going on. I'm going to be the kind of person standing in the corner with my hands in my pockets looking on my phone or being a bit awkward, you know. Uh, 
you know, I mean, just from when I got to the hotel to when I left, every single spider person, uh, I mean, I even I had a talk with, um, with Ray Hale uh, yesterday um, and, and, and Kim, and I had a good talk with them about the show. I told him, like I am now, what I thought the show was, which was, I thought it was clicky and the elitist and... I'm going to use the word unwelcoming, but that's a harsh word to use, but I didn't think I would be accepted or, you know, and it was just the complete opposite of that. And so that's why I thought I'd do this video while it's fresh in my mind to say to people that I went to this, uh, to the lectures with a certain mindset, not a negative mindset, but not knowing how I would be treated or, you know, and I was made to feel welcome. I understood what they were saying. Uh, everything was explained really, really well, and it was just a really nice social night. People just coming up, just talking to you, you know, it's like, what spot did you keep? What is the first thing you got? How many do you have? Whatever. And before you know it, you know, it's like, you know, when I left this morning after breakfast with, with Guy and Rail, you know, she stood up and like, you know, shook my hand and, you know, take care, I'll see you at the BTS, you know, and it was amazing. And the sad thing is that there are many other people that do not know about these lectures. They don't know. Um, they don't know where they are. They don't know that they happen. They don't know that you don't have to be a BTS member to attend. Um, you know, there's so much that people don't understand about the lectures, and I wish, I wholeheartedly wish that I could go back in time and then attend the lectures sooner because I think I've missed out on an awful lot of important, important sort of topics and conversations um, and time spent with these people. Now, when I go to the spider shows as all the traders and the BTS people and you know, everyone, yeah, you meet people and you say hello and you have a quick chat, but ultimately people are working or you're there to buy spiders and you know, it's busy in there. You don't, you, you don't have time to sit at a table for two hours and talk to one person or a group of people. And, the social side for me, excuse me, is really what made, it didn't make it, but for me it was a, it was a, a huge part of the weekend, you know, uh, start to finish, Friday night till this morning, it was just absolutely fantastic. Now, the lectures I held at the Aztec Hotel, and I think, I think that's about £120 a night, something like that. We stayed somewhere else, so it was a little bit cheaper. Uh, the lectures are £30 to just attend the lectures, and £60 if you want to do the lectures with a with, with a meal as well. So, it, yeah, I it is quite expensive. I will say that it is kind of expensive, and I can see why that would put a lot of people off going, because you're paying basically 60 quid to sit and talk to people and then have a, a meal. But I would say to anyone, um, you've, you've got a year, yeah? So if you are able to put away a few pounds a week here or your birthday money or Christmas money, so if you are able to save up any money, you, if you're interested in uh, tarantulas and spiders and the educational side of it, not in a boring, depressing, school-like way, in a genuinely... Uh, if you go onto the BTS Facebook page, they do actually have some pictures. Uh, it ha it was just amazing. Um, I will be going next year, definitely. I, I'm not hundred percent sure that Stephen will. And I thought I'd do this video to just try and say to you people, like, whatever your um, your knowledge, whether you are literally brand new to keeping tarantulas, or you got the knowledge of Andrew Smith, yeah, you should um, definitely look at attending the lectures if you have an interest because it was absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that is basically my my, my view on, on the lectures. Like I said, I was very wrong and I, I wish I had gone sooner. I really do. I know for the money, I think it's worth it. So, um, so with that said, yeah, that's my, my view on the lectures. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to have five minutes to answer a few questions on this. Then I'm going to stop the video and then do another YouTube, a live YouTube video just for general chat, okay? 
So um, if you want to have a really good talk, then feel free to join the next next live video, which will be up sort of straight away after. So a couple of questions um, I will sort of read out. Now I've got loads to, uh, to, to read through. Um, so hello to everyone who has taken the time to join this. I'll have to kneel down because my uh, my camera is uh, further away. So yeah, hello to everyone um, who has joined this. I'd like to know because um, I've got loads of messages, uh, sort of comments to read. I would like to know for those of you that have listened to that. In all honesty. Is there anyone that has never attended the lectures that would be at all tempted in attending? Um, I'm uh, curious to know whether any of you would be up for it now that you know about it, if you didn't already. Um, so there's, there's, there's a couple of people, which is good. Um, I say, I, I know it, it probably seems like it's a lot of money, but it has been fantastic. Um, you know, you get literally, like I said, I mean, I was sat around, um, with people drinking alcohol after not joining the lectures and it was um fantastic and it was i'm asking I'm, the reason i'm asking that is because there's a lot of people that they don't know about the lectures they don't know they don't know um the terms of it shall we say and so i think it's kind of you know i want to sort of find out i mean to be fair you don't have to drink you know it's not like i mean i after we had um we had a, a, an hour's break, I went to the uh, bar and I ordered myself a pot of Earl Grey. Um, I think I was probably the only person drinking tea there, but it doesn't matter. We don't have to drink alcohol to have a good time there. Um, I just I wanted to find out what people's uh, views were. Um, yeah, I love Earl Grey. Um, I say, well, this is what I was, when I was talking to Ray Hale, and he said about when you think about the, the amount of people in the hobby that are in the UK, how many people like the BTS web, uh, the, the Facebook page, things that, but then how many people turn up to the lectures? There's not that many people that that do attend them, which is a real, real shame. Um, you know, like I mean, Ray hasn't. You know, no one has asked me to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this um, just because I want to sort of. I'd love to try and get more people there. I mean, it's a great way to sort of, you know, to meet up and chat and things. But for people that are interested in spiders and, you know, what this is about, shall we say, um, it is probably one of the best places to go and learn. And you can talk to people properly there that you can't speak to at the shows and things. So, um, yeah, I do agree. Uh, the cost is one thing. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Um, I mean, 30 quid for the lectures, you know, I don't know whether they would or not. Um, it's it's a bit, um, it's one of those. I mean, they've got to sort of be able to cover how much it costs to rent and, you know, the, the fees and things that they have to cover. I get that. Um, and I know that the price does put a lot of, pe put a lot of people off. Um, who knows? Um, one more thing as well, I, f I forgot to show you this. Um, I did buy a tarantula there as well. Now, I was gonna buy a t-shirt as well, a BTS t-shirt, which I didn't because of, uh, when I went to get it, they were loading them back onto the car and I sort of, I said, yeah, a bit of a faff, I said, look, I'll, I'll get one of the BTS. I'll see you guys at the BTS, so I'll get one there. But, um, sorry, I've got a dry throat. Give me just two seconds, sorry. Um, excuse me. So, I just sort of sat there having a drink, and Ray Gabriel comes up to me and sort of like, oh, you know, oh, spiders, whatever. And um, he had three species. He had a, a female, which I think someone else bought. He had um, P. Spe P. Speck Rufus, and he had Somapoas, uh, Somapoas uh, Victoria. So out of those two species, uh, P. Speck Rufus and P. Species um, P. Victoria, which one do you think that I got? I'm curious to know. I'm just curious as to whether anyone did. Um, 
but yeah. I did get the um, I got the P Victoria. Now I'm not gonna take the lid off this because it's quite small and it's very very fast. Um, honestly, I don't think these have common names. These are both um, both fairly new species into the hobby. Uh, the P Spec Rufus was thirty five pounds or thirty pounds, I think, one of the two, and the uh, Summer Poas Victoria was 50. Um, it's not tiny, it's not like a tiny little thing, it's probably just under an inch leg span, um, give or take. Um, um, last time... Uh, the bird room, is that you want to shout out or, or what? Um, so yeah, I did get this. I I wasn't going to buy any tarantulas there because it's, you don't go there to buy tarantulas. It's not for that at all. But he happened to have a couple of tarantulas and I had a bit of money because I didn't drink that much last night, to be fair. Um, I think I only had like, like four or five drinks, excluding the um, uh, tequila, which was a really, really nice one. I think it's one of these, you know, you sip it, like a proper expensive one. Um, we just shot at it. Um, me, 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 Lee, I think Trancher Addict, I think he was shot in them as well. Um, I mean, the last time you gave a shout out on it here, the bird room. No, the last shout out that I did um, in the video was for Nerd Room, uh, John Young. So, right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Um, the reason is because I want this to be fairly short for people that want to re watch my views on the lectures. Um, I hope if one of you have found this, if just one of you who uh, watch this end up going to um, to the lectures next year, then this video has been a success as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it would be great to see more people there. I really think it would be um, would be kind of good. Um, yeah, I know. I don't normally drink alcohol at all. The last time I drank al alcohol before this weekend. Um, properly shall we say was two years ago where I went to Dublin for St Patrick's weekend that's the last time that I drank alcohol in that way so uh, but it was a good weekend though really really good anyways what I'm gonna do guys I'd like to thank you all for joining this and I hope you've enjoyed some of the information that I've uh, put out uh, don't go anywhere though I'm gonna start another live video straight after this literally a What's the word? Just just a chat. If you guys want to sit around and talk to me and I'll answer some questions, then um, you can join me there and I'll be having a proper talk. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Take care. Please go and check out um, Love Tarantulas, the BTS or the Spider Shop. Get yourself this DVD. Really, really good. And, um, of course, look into the lectures and the BTS show. Can't recommend either of those hard enough. So thank you, everyone. Take care and I will see you all soon in about 15 seconds. All right.